But before we get to all that, let's go with this right off the top. Now, of course, one of the new stars of Ant-Man and the Wasp is Lawrence Fishburne, who is also known to be Perry White in the DCU. However, it now looks like he's not going to be in the DCU anymore. In a recent interview in promoting Ant-Man and the Wasp, he was asked specifically about whether or not he thinks he'll be part of the DCU again. And this is what Lawrence Fishburne had to say. He said the following, I don't think I'm still on call. I was unfortunately unable to go do some work on what turned out to be the Justice League movie. I don't know that I need to go back or if they'll have me back or not, but I was grateful to have been a part of it. I loved working with Zack Snyder. I think he makes an incredible superhero movie. I'm just excited to be a part of this, the MCU now. Now, look, before we get too hysterical about this, it's like, oh my gosh, actors are abandoning ship on the DCEU. Uh, let's keep this in mind. Let's, let's keep this in perspective. As great as Lawrence Fishburne is, and I really liked his rendition of Perry White in the DCU very much, but let's be honest. It's not like his Perry White character was a key, pivotal, pivotal, super important character in the DCU that, oh my God, what's the DCU gonna do without Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White? I mean, they just never used the character all that much. He was great in the scenes that he was in, also in the news, water, wet. I mean, he, did, he played those scenes great. He made the most out of those scenes that he could, but let's be honest, it's not like those are the most pivotal or important parts of those movies. And, and quite frankly, even as great as Lawrence Fishburne is, him maybe departing out of the DCU really doesn't do much. And the Perry White character is a character you very easily can recast. So as much as I love Lawrence Fishburne, and I thought he was really good in Ant-Man and the Wasp, and it's unfortunate that maybe he won't be Perry White anymore in the DCU, it's not like it's a big major thing. Like it's, it's not like Henry Cavill walks from, from the DCU. That would be more significant because he's the more important character, right? So honestly, it's unfortunate if it turns out that he's not in the DCU anymore, but it's not like it's that big of a deal to the DCU because he was never playing that key of a character anyway. Anyway, that's just the way I see it. Okay, guys, with that out of the way, we